Hi all, today's topic is isoparametric graph. When we say it is isomorphic, it's nothing but when two graphs C1 and G2 are said to be isomorphic to each other, if there exists one-to-one -one correspondent between the vector and set which precises the adjacent of the vertices. For example, G and H are given in the diagram. So, how we have to check it is isomorphic graph means so the vertices when you take the vertices to be a okay so you have to check how many vertices and how many edges are there in g and h and degree of all the element when i check it it should be same as the h so then we say that it is isomorphic it is not isomorphic means for example one example will be asked which is not isomorphic so these two are the not isomorphic for example, you check in this, we have how many vertices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vertices, in this also 6 vertices. So, both G and H 6 vertices and 5, 5 edges we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 edges. In this, when you calculate E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, so 5 edges, both are same only. But we cannot conclude whether it is isomorphic or not. So, we have to check with the degree. So when I check with the degree, when I check it, here degree of V4, when I check it, so the degree is nothing but 3, 1, 2, 3, so degree is 3, same way V5, when I check it, the degree is 1, same way it changes, so in H also it is, this is for, uh, so it changes means it should be same, then only it is isomorphic, so it changes, so it is not a isomorphic, so the matrix representation for a graph, so already we have studied this in the second and third unit. When G is a simple graph with the vertices V1, V2, etc., Vn, then matrix we can write it. When it is communicated, we will write. When we have a edge, so we will write 1. When we don't have a edge, it should be 0. For example, when it is V1 to V1, the same loop, it is not given, so 0. V1 to V2, I have a edge. So this is E1, so it is nothing but 1. Same way V1 to V3 I have, so it is E2, so it uh, 1. So V1 to V4, E3, so I have 1. So similarly, every element we have to write it. When the degree, how we can calculate the degree of V1 when I calculate means number of the ones in the column or in the row. So it is nothing but that is the degree, okay. So adjacent matrices means how we have to write the adjacent matrices means when we have loop at the vertices V1, it is represented by a 1 in I A position and I J it is equal to the equal number of the edges that are incident or V I and V J. For example, when you check in the diagram only you can understand. For example, A when I take it, A you check it, A to A is one loop. So A to A one element, A to B how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3. So, 3. A to C, we have to check it. No complication. So, 0. A to D, we have to check it. Yes, 1. So, repeat it like this. It is called as adjacent matrices. So, incident matrices can also be used to represent the pseudo graphs. So, how the first problem for isomorphism? How to check whether it is isomorphism? First, G1 and G2 are given. From a G1, what is the vertices we have to write? So, what is the, how many vertices we have, how many edges we have, first we need to write. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 vertices, how many edges? 1, 2, so 3, 4, so 5, so 5 edges, same way in G2 vertices. And edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 vertices, 1, E1, E2, E3, E4, so E5, so 5 edges. It is equal only, but we cannot conclude whether it is isomorphic. So what you have to do? We have to calculate the degree of all the elements we have to calculate. For example, A degree. So first you have to check from which order it goes. A we, if E1, E2, etc. are given in the question, means you have to go with that corresponding order. It's not given, only empty it is there, means you have to follow which order it goes, how I can go it, A to B, B to D, then 
D to C, C to A. So like that we have to check and write it. So now when I write it, degree of A, I have to write which is equal to the degree of V1. Okay, which is same degree, both it has to be compared. So the degree when I compare it, so I am getting 3. Same way degree of next element when I compare it B. So B when I compare it, degree of V2 I have to compare it. So V2 when I compare it, it is nothing but 2. Same way degree of C when I compare it, degree of which I have to compare it. So next D I have to compare it. When I compare D, it should be compared with D is nothing but B4, B3. Okay. So when I compare it, C when I compare it to B3 when I compare it. So here B4 and here B3. The reason I will take. Okay, so 2, here it is 3, D, 1, 2, 3. So, the reason, because you check in the diagram. So, when I check in a G1, so how it goes? A, from a A, I will use a highlighter so that you can understand. Yellow color highlighter. See here, how it goes? From A to B, then from a B to D. Okay. After that, it is D to C. Then only. Okay. So then only D. D to C to A. Then A to D. Okay. So the reason why only this is a letter. Okay. So that is why C is connected with, so after D only C comes. So same way here when I write it V1, V2, V3, V3 to V1, again V4, then only V3. So that is why G, C is connected with A, B, B to D, E to C, C to A. Okay, same way G2 when I write it, is in V1, V2, Okay, V1, V2, V3, V3 to V4. Okay, then only V1. Okay, so this is the connection. So that is why only first V4, then only V3. Thank you.